Thank you for joining us. Today we will be talking about the American Nurses Credentialing Center, a framework for nursing excellence. During our presentation, we will introduce our newest framework and demonstrate the relationships between each concept. The American Nurses Credentialing Center's directors will be today's speakers. We have no conflict of interest to disclose. In 2016, the cohesive American Nurses Association enterprise was formed to lead excellence in practice and ensure that policy leaders, industry influencers, and employers around the country recognize nurses' voice and vision. The American Nurses Association is the premier organization representing the interests of the nation's 4 million registered nurses. As the membership organization within the enterprise, the ANA represents nursing policy, scope and standards of practice, and advocacy. ANA is at the forefront of improving the quality of health for all. The American Nurses Foundation, or Foundation for short, is the philanthropic arm of the American Nurses Association. The foundation pursues this mission by elevating the profession of nursing globally, engaging all nurses to ensure professional success, and evolving the practice of nursing to transform health and health care. With gifts and grants from generous donors, the foundation invests in the well being and success of individual nurses while championing the nursing cause through healthcare systems. The ANCC is proud to be the international renowned credentialing arm of the enterprise. Together, as a family, we have one vision. And our vision is for a healthy world through the power of nursing. Let's learn a little bit more about the ANCC. The ANCC portfolio offers various forms of credentialing, both for organizations and individuals, and each program promotes nursing excellence. The Magnet Recognition Program credentials organizations that demonstrate innovation and superior outcomes, showing how nursing excellence leads to high quality patient care. Pathway to Excellence program recognizes organizations that demonstrate a commitment to creating and sustaining a positive practice environment that supports, engages, and gives nurses a voice. When nurses are empowered, valued, and cared for, they become the organization's strongest partners in achieving its mission, vision, goals, and desired outcomes. Next is the accreditation program. Achieving accreditation demonstrates the organization's commitment to lifelong learning and quality education to ensure nurses have the knowledge and skills to provide excellent care. The accreditation umbrella includes the nursing continuing professional development, joint accreditation, and the practice transition programs. The certification program validates nurses' specialty knowledge and accredits individual nurses. ANCC offers more than 18 board certification in specialty or advanced practice areas. All of us at ANCC are delighted as we celebrate its 30th anniversary in 2021. ANCC was formed back in 1991, starting with nursing continuing professional development and certification programs. Magnet was formally started in 1990, with the first recognition occurring in 1994. Pathway to Excellence was acquired by ANCC from Texas Nurses Association in 2007 and in 2010 also launched a Pathway to Excellence in Long-Term Care. Joint accreditation was developed in 2010 and recognized the first organization the same year. The Practice Transition Accreditation Program, or PTAP, was created in 2014 and accredited its first programs the following year. Continuing our commitment to the profession, ANCC promotes research through its Research Council, and in 2020, Advanced Practice Resource Center was also added to the ANCC portfolio. As of July 2020, you can see that ANCC's impact is vast and spans across the globe. And with credentialing, standards may be minimal and mandatory or above the minimum and voluntary. Credentialing protects the health, safety, and or welfare of the public. It establishes standards for the professional knowledge, skills, and practice. 
assures consumers that professionals have met standards of practice. Credentialing also meets the requirements of government regulators. It helps members of an association or organization work with governmental agencies to regulate the profession. Credentialing advances the profession. Credentialing provides a sense of pride and professional accomplishment, demonstrates commitment to a profession and to Moving lifelong on. learning. What makes us different from other organizations? ANCC offers several different credentialing programs. On an individual level, certification is the process by which a non-governmental agency or association certifies that an individual has met certain predetermined standards specified by that profession for specialty practice. Its purpose is to assure various publics that an individual has mastered a body of knowledge and acquired skills in a particular specialty. Moving on to program credentialing, accreditation is the process by which a voluntary non-governmental agency or organization appraises and grants accredited status to institutions and or programs or services which meet predetermined structure, process, and outcome criteria. Recognition is the formal acknowledgement that a program, institution, or service has met a set of criteria promulgated by an official agency. All of ANCC's credentialing programs are ISO certified, achieving ISO 9001 2015 recognition in 2017. ISO certification is the firmly established global standard for assuring stakeholders of an organization's ability to satisfy quality related requirements. ANCC certification programs are also accredited by the Accreditation Board for Specialty Nursing Certification. We are excited to debut the new ANCC Credentialing Framework for Nursing Excellence. This framework will showcase the interconnectedness and relationships of exceptional nursing practice. ANCC provides internationally renowned programs that certify and recognize individual nurses in specialty practice areas. ANCC recognizes healthcare organizations that promote nursing excellence and quality patient outcomes while providing safe, positive work environments. In addition, ANCC accredits healthcare organizations that provide and approve continuing nursing education, and accredits transition to practice programs, preparing nurses for new practice roles. As you know, the ANCC is comprised of six programs. Three that fall under accreditation, Nursing Continued Professional Development, NCPD, Joint Accreditation, and the Practice Transition Accreditation Program, PTAP. Our newest initiative partners with all the ANCC programs involving Advanced Practice Nursing, APRNs, and will serve as the Advanced Practice Resource Center. To understand the framework, it is important to know that the ANCC utilizes the Down and Medium model in the creation of the ANCC programs. The Down and Medium model is comprised of three domains, structures, processes, and outcomes. Down Abedian defines structure as the conditions under which care is provided, including material resources, human resources, and organizational characteristics. Whereas process is the action involving the delivery of nursing and healthcare services to patients, including practices that are safe and ethical, autonomous, evidence-based, and focused on quality improvement. Down Abedian defined outcomes as the changes, desirable or undesirable, in individuals and populations that can be attributed to health care. An outcome is qualitative or quantitative and related to the impact of the structure and process, the intervention, on patient nursing workforce, organization, and consumer. Outcomes are dynamic and measurable. All the ANCC programs are com comprised of four key concepts. These concepts are driven by their relationship with each other. They are interconnected and guide the ANCC in the creation of its products. Four key concepts to nursing excellence are foster interprofessional collaboration, 
advance professional practice, sustain a culture of excellence, and empower engagement. Let's take a look at each concept. The nursing profession and professions within healthcare are constantly evolving to meet the complexity of the healthcare environment. As healthcare becomes increasingly outcome driven, professional development is evolving to engage and empower all members of the healthcare team in outcomes driven learning and development. Learning and professional development start in nurse residency programs and continue through professional practice as nurses transition from one specialty to another or engage in advanced practice. The American Nurses Credentialing Center nursing continuing professional development accreditation program and joint accreditation program are leaders in accreditation standards that focus on improving the performance of nurses, healthcare teams, and patient system and community outcomes. The lifelong learning needs of professional registered nurses and members of the healthcare team are supported by ensuring that educational activities are designed using criteria that are evidence-based and independent from commercial influence. By participating in accredited professional development that is designed, implemented, and evaluated by accredited organizations, healthcare providers maintain continued competence in a rapidly changing healthcare environment. Accreditation standards challenge organizations to develop and provide nursing continuing professional development that is outcomes driven and aligned to strategic and quality outcomes within their organization. Learning is strategic and accredited organizations are in a unique position to leverage learning and development by demonstrating how accredited NCPD has improved or enhanced the performance of their nurses, their healthcare teams, their patients, and their system as a healthcare organization and how it impacts their community. The joint accreditation definition for interprofessional continuing education is derived from the World Health Organization definition of interprofessional education. Interprofessional continuing education, also known as IPCE, is when members from two or more professions learn with, from, and about each other to enable effective collaboration and improve health outcomes. IPCE is designed for the team by the team. The goal of IPCE is to improve team competence, team practice, and patient outcomes. We know that the more team members are engaged and learning together, the more interprofessional collaborative practice is cultivated. Understanding and addressing team culture is critical in creating and maintaining a culture of collaboration. Interprofessional collaboration or interprofessional collaborative practice, also known as IPCP, provides opportunities for relationship building within teams and fosters shared decision making that is based on the knowledge and expertise of team members. IPCP emphasizes the importance of communication, trust, engagement, and collaborative practice for healthcare teams to achieve high reliability. IPCP stretches beyond professional silos and includes all professions and all constituents who impact patient outcomes, and this includes patients and their caregivers. The following are ways in which the ANCC, NCPD accreditation, and joint accreditation programs promote interprofessional collaborative practice through learning and development and are resonant in all of the ANCC credentialing programs. Setting clear goals with a unified mission and vision for outcome attainment through IPCE, board certification, creating a positive work environment, and improving care through evidence based practice and interprofessional interventions, understanding and defining team member roles and responsibilities with an emphasis on empathy and mutual understanding among team members, creating an atmosphere of shared governance and decision-making with open and effective communication, creating and sustaining a culture of evidence, fostering a culture of collaboration and mutual respect, and lastly, cultivating an environment of diversity of thought and inclusivity. To advance our professional practice, we must dedicate ourselves to a continuous career-long learning process. 
Nurses can commit to advancing their professional practice by becoming credentialed as a specialty and or advanced practice nurse. RNs who choose to become certified as specialty nurses must pass a board certification examination. The examination is competency-based and provides a valid and reliable assessment of the entry-level clinical knowledge and skills of nurses in the specialty after initial RN licensure. The creation and maintenance of a board certification exam requires the certifier to define the specialty via use of updated scope and standards of practice and role delineation studies. This periodic check-in on the specialty helps to memorialize the changes and or the advances that have occurred since the last check-in. Nurses that are board certified are more likely to practice at the top of their specialty. Nurses who are certified attest their certification increase their knowledge and skills beyond what they obtain from on-the-job experience. They also experienced a sense of pride and achievement, professionally more confident, prepared to practice more effectively, had additional opportunities for career advancement, and could provide evidence of their clinical and professional competence. For nurses who seek to become an advanced practice nurse, she or he may apply after meeting the eligibility criteria. By completing all the coursework, faculty supervise clinical practice hours and graduate from an accredited program. The advanced practice candidate must pass a competency-based board examination that provides a valid and reliable assessment of the entry-level clinical knowledge and skills for one of the four advanced practice roles. The nurse practitioner, nurse midwife, clinical nurse specialist, or nurse anesthetist. Certification requires active participation in professional development over time that is targeted to that particular specialty or role. This commitment to lifelong learning is often above minimum and mandatory licensure and or employer requirements. This process helps individuals stay current and encourages creation of fresh new continuing education content. Many of the reasons nurses become certified are intrinsically motivated, but can be influenced by external factors, including the climate, culture, and leadership. Therefore, advancing professional practice is not just the responsibility of the individual nurse. Organizations should be dedicated to sustaining a culture that fosters interprofessional collaboration and empowers engagement. As stated earlier, the ANCC framework and programs embrace the use of the Donna Bedian model. To enable a culture of sustained excellence, strong structures, processes, and outcomes should be developed and identified. Nurses operate on the front line of healthcare, dedicating their working lives to protect, promote, and improve the health of the community. To optimally do this, they need to operate in an environment that supports their own needs and promotes high standards. It's essential to create practice environments that safeguard the well-being of nurses, make them feel supported, and enable them to have a strong voice. When nurses feel that their contributions are valued, they become the greatest assets because they will want to see the organization succeed as much as the leaders do. And that's the secret to creating a culture of sustained excellence. When leaders successfully align their strategic goals to improve patient outcomes with their commitment to create a positive practice environment for nursing, the whole organization reaps the rewards and benefits. Interprofessional collaborative practice must be nurtured with a focus on mutual respect, autonomy, and shared values. In addition, steadfast investment in nursing education and development ensure that nurses are supported in their chosen career path. Promoting and supporting advanced degree attainment and continued professional development at every career stage lead to greater autonomy at the bedside. To patients, it means the very, very best care delivered by nurses who are supported to be the very best that they can be. ANCC believes every nurse deserves to be working in such an environment. 
the Pathway to Excellence Program, the premier designation for positive practice environments, recognizes healthcare organizations that demonstrate a commitment to establishing a foundation of a healthy workplace for staff. The hallmark of the pathway framework is having a dedicated standard that requires organizations to proactively and continuously assess the well-being of their clinicians. The Magnet Recognition Program embraces a culture of nursing excellence by focusing on quality outcomes to demonstrate the success of an organization's structures and processes. When nurses feel empowered and cared for, their job satisfaction, engagement, and loyalty increase, resulting in improved patient outcomes and experience. This framework highlights the importance of giving nurses a voice. When nurses are engaged in their work, everyone benefits. A new graduate nurse who participates in a program that has earned accreditation through the Practice Transition Accreditation Program learns firsthand during their first year of practice what it means to be an exceptional nurse. They are enculturated into their organization. They are given the tools to be successful through mentoring and a precepted experience. New graduate nurses are empowered to lead and engage in their transition through reflection and active participation in the process. Sustaining a culture of excellence requires the interprofessional team to have clear goals and outcomes to achieve success. All nurses can transform and create a culture of excellence through shared decision-making, embracing evidence-based practice and research, and positive collaboration. Thank you, colleagues, for sharing the ANCC framework. It's amazing to see how concepts strung together can invoke such a powerful model that all healthcare organizations can use. To highlight the impact of our key concepts, let's watch a quick video. Why did you decide to become a nurse? to uh, reciprocate what my family has done for me. I think nursing picked me well before I ever picked nursing. Because I enjoy taking care of people. Being a nurse means to care unconditionally. Nursing is compassion. Helping a patient be their best selves. Nursing is rewarding. You get to touch people's lives. Every person that I care for, I feel like I leave a part of myself with them. Delivering the best care means listening. Personal attention. Caring for your patients from your heart. Leaving them with a sense of trust. As a nurse educator, it's rewarding to see students transition into clinicians. And certification means that I'm delivering the highest level of care that I can give. ANCC certification is the gold standard. And when others see that certification, they know I'm prepared for the job. Working at a magnet hospital means delivering the best patient care. Working at a pathway designated organization means that they are committed to my professional development. The support that ANCC offers me allows me to take good care of my patients. It's been the best decision I've ever made. Being a nurse means making a difference every day. It means being there for the life-changing moments of my patients. It's about the trust I create, the care I deliver, and the lasting impact I have on others. For all the reasons I am a nurse, ANCC supports my life's work because supporting nurses means better care for patients. We hope you found our presentation and the ANCC framework helpful. Also, we'd like to share with you our reference list. As always, we are an email and a phone call away. We look forward to continuing our work with you and building relationships for years to come. Please feel free to reach out to us at any time. Thank you and we hope you continue to enjoy the inaugural ANCC Summit.